Are you looking for things that will make RVing easier? Well, you've come to the right place because we've gathered 25 things to make RVing safer, more organized, and a lot more fun. That's right. And if you stick around to the end, we just might tell you about a giveaway. The only thing you need to RV with is an RV. That's really true. But a lot of these things we're talking about today does make full-time RVing even better. We're going to review these 25 items from least expensive to most expensive. Now, if you want to sort the video and change it up and do it in another order, just hit that button down at the bottom. Just kidding. Let's start with the first item. All right, let's start with the first thing, and that is a clear bin. I know what you're saying. Really? Bins? That's on the top of your list? But let me tell you, our bins before we got these were not see-through and they were really a pain in the butt. I would have to pull out all the bins over the bed to figure out what I was looking for. Now, with these bad boys, I can see right through it and it really makes finding that one thing I'm looking for much easier to find. Yep. That's all you got, Jeff? That's yep. it, yep. <laughs> all right, since he has nothing more to add, I just wanna let you know these are about six bucks and you can find this this size as well as smaller sizes at the container store. Next up is our silicone rings. I know, I know, they're not exactly an RV thing, but they actually work perfectly on the road. I don't worry about losing my band or losing a setting, and I don't really care what happens to them, if they rip or whatever. And you can get these at any price point. I got a pack of 10 for seven bucks. Um, this ring costs Phil 30 bucks, why? because it has his NFL Bronco team right on the front. So you can find these online in all shapes and all sizes, and they're actually pretty cool. Yeah, they're, for me, when I'm working around the rig, I'm always getting my hands in small crevices, um, and these don't pinch, they don't ki catch my finger. Really, really like them. This was a game changer for us. This is the E6000 Extreme Tack, and now I no longer have to move 10 items around the rig every time we close and open. I just use a couple of dabs to hold it in place and they aren't going anywhere. No, I've gone to move a few things <laughs> and I've reached over and grabbed it and it was like, oh, okay. I didn't know she had glued it down. This stuff really works. Now, this is very similar to that glue on a back of a credit card when you get them in the mail and it is removable and it will not mar, or I should say, it hasn't marred any of our services so far. So I really, really like it. Now, word to the wise, you only need a couple of dabs. The first time I used it to test it, I used way too much and almost couldn't pull the item back off the mm -hmm. table again. So, as you can see, it looks like I haven't even used it at all. So, all you need is a tiny container of this, and this is two ounces, and it costs about 10 bucks on Amazon. That's right. A little dab will do you. Next up is the clear elbow that attaches to the sewer hose. Now, you're asking, really? Clear elbow and sewer hose? Well, I use it to check the status of my black tank flush. I want to see if the water's clear, then I know that I've flushed the tank really well. If it's still got brown water coming out of there, then I know I need to continue to flush it. It attaches to the end of your sewer hose and goes straight to the sewer drain. It screws in so it stays in there nice and tight. It goes for about 15 bucks on Amazon. Another item that comes in handy for us are these silicone rubber, like bread ties on steroids is what I refer to them as. <laughs> Um, they come in different sizes, different colors, um, and as you can see, they attach to hoses and cords and everything like that really easy. Um, we use the smaller ones inside for our foam cords. This one I use outside. I've got a hook in my storage bay that I put this on, so I open up my door. My cord is right there. These things are really awesome. They range anywhere from $10 on up, depending on the number in the pack, the length in the pack. So yeah. Yeah. And you can find them anywhere. Yeah, yeah. We all know how important it is to be organized in the RV just because it's such a tight space and you have limited storage. This really helped out my kitchen. So I ordered a set of 25 spice jars and labels for the kitchen. And what I love about them is the labels are on the top and not on the side of the jar because I keep my spices in a drawer. So when I open the drawer, I want to be able to see the name on the top and just reach in and grab what I need. Before I got these labels, I was pulling, I don't even know how many jars out to find what I needed. It was a real pain. 
So now it's easy and these jars come with almost 400 spice labels. But if that's not enough or if you mix your own, they also have blanks with a chalk marker where you can write the own, your own um, name for your spices. I really love these. Like I said, it's a set of 25. I got them off Amazon and they were 23 bucks. That's right on time. Ha ha ha. Once my pressure regulator is attached, then I add my Y gate, which allows me to add two hoses to my water line. The hose that I like a lot is our Zero G. It's lightweight, it folds up flat, takes up very little space in the storage bay. It goes for about $25, and you can find this on Amazon. Next up are a couple of books. Yep, that's right, I actually read books. I don't because there's no pictures in these, <laughs> yeah, or very little. He never reads. Sports <laughs> Illustrated may be on a good day, but that's about it. The first book I want to show you is called Free Campgrounds. This book is packed full of campgrounds that are free all the way up to 20 bucks a night. And it's everything from city parks, county parks, uh, forestry, you name it, it's in here. I use this book a lot when we went north this summer through South Dakota and Wyoming, Nebraska, all those areas. It was excellent in helping me find little out of the way places. This book divides it up according to state and then according to city. And it talks about the campgrounds, what it offers, you know, all the amenities, what the prices are, directions to get there, and contact info. So this is a really good addition to our campground search. Now I actually have last year's edition. There is a newer edition online and this book is about 23 bucks. Yeah, and if you're having a hard time sleeping at night, read that Jim. <laughs> Okay, next up, this is for my military peeps. This is an excellent book all about campgrounds on military installations. This book will explain or list everything about the campground, all the amenities, phone numbers, um, directions, what gate to come in, you name it, it's in here. But not just the campgrounds, it also talks about everything on the base that you can use, all the facilities from medical to vet to commissary and phone numbers for all of that. Now, in addition to all the campgrounds, it also lists all of the MWR rentals as well as any other ribbon rentals like houses or uh, cabins or what is it called? Getaways, all the getaways. So there are quite a few places um, that we could rent that I never even knew existed until right. I got the book. So this book is laid out perfectly. It, the information is just crazy. You can't find this stuff online. Now this book is not on Amazon. It is through militaryliving.com and it's 44 bucks, but I can tell you it is well worth it. Yeah, and you have to have access to the installations or bases yeah. to use some of these campgrounds. Um, and just just know that if you are a veteran, you may qualify. Uh, Stacy's got a blog on that as well, and uh, hopefully she'll link that below. Of course I will. Another important piece of the RV water system is having a good pressure regulator. You want to know what PSI you have coming into your rig. You don't want to have it too high, too high where it causes your pipes to burst, or too low that you can't take a shower. This uh, regulator here is pretty nice. It's uh, brass, pretty durable. This pressure regulator goes for about $30, and you can find it on Amazon. Next up is this lightweight foldable side table that we use when we're sitting outside. As you can see, it folds up pretty small, pretty compact. The legs will even fold in for even less space in the storage bay. This table goes for about $35. When we're sitting outside next to our small lightweight table, we like to break out our zero gravity reclining chairs. The problem with them is they're big and they're bulky. We don't like to carry them around the park with us or even to the beach. So we were looking for a smaller compact chair and we found these. The chair that I'm sitting in fits in this bag. It's lightweight, it's compact, it'll store anywhere. And let me tell you, they're very comfortable. It's hugging my back. I could sit in this all night and enjoy a nice campfire and a cocktail. So as you can see, the chair is pretty compact. It's very lightweight. It comes in three different colors. We just happen to choose red to go along with ruby red. These go for about $50 and you can find them on Amazon. Next up is our Clear 2O water filter system. Now this is actually two separate products, but I'm gonna talk about them together. First up is the Dirt Guard, and this is Clear 2O's, Clear 2O's initial filter. It's a sediment filter and it filters down to 20 microns. The second product is their inline water filter, and this filter filters down to one micron. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to use this, these together. 
if you use the inline filter by itself, it's going to clog really quickly and you're going to go through it just like we did in about a month or so. And the bonus with the dirt guard is you can take the filter out, rinse it off and put it back in once it gets dirty and full of sediment. Now the inline filter will last you on average about 90 days, but of course it depends on how much water you have traveling through it. I do have a blog post on both of these and it talks about what they filter out and the benefits of them that I will link down below. Now the dirt guard uh, retails for about 40 bucks and the inline filter for 28 bucks. And just so you know, if you're going for the inline filter, the cheapest place I found them on Walmart, and it's in the RV section, so you can just walk in and grab it and go. When it comes to protecting your tires, I recommend the Magna Tire Shades. These are custom fit to your size tires. They're $57 a piece, and they what I really like is that they keep the UV rays off the tires, so that will help prevent them from cracking and drying out. Now, before I had my Magna Shades, I had the um, gray vinyl, um, all-in-one tire cover and I really didn't like it for the minute I put them on but they did help protect the tires but the back had felt on them and it attracted every bug and weed that flew through our campsite so it took me about 30 minutes to clean all the stuff off the back of them before I could put them away these they just kind of fold up like a sunshade I store them in a bag easy storage propane safety is a priority for us that's why we use the gas stop safety valve this will shut off your propane in the event of a catastrophic leak or failure. It'll detect small leaks and it tells you how much propane you have in your tank. Gastop has two different safety valves. They have the Acme and the Pole. So when you go to Techno RV to order yours, make sure you know which one will fit your propane tanks. Speaking of Techno RV, remember the giveaway we mentioned at the beginning of the video? They're going to donate one of these Gastop. So stick around to the end and we'll tell you how you can enter to win one. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> yep, next up are our walkie talkies, and these are a must for RVers. We use this every time we are pulling into a campground or we're packing up to leave a campground. And I got to tell you, this is set number two. It was cheaper than the first set, and they work much better. Yeah, we did start out using our cell phones in the beginning, but Stacy had Sprint, and well, I was pretty much talking to myself because <laughs> she had no coverage. <laughs> Uh, so we tried that in the beginning, just didn't work for us, but these Midland XTs are super easy to use. We've used them in a caravan with three other RVs going down the interstate, and I tell you, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, they are a lot of fun. Caravanning is fun too, so if you haven't done that yet, put that on your to-do list. Now these have a range of 38 miles. Okay, 38 miles, but line of, sight. line of sight, nothing in between, but it will go pretty far when we're caravanning. Also, it has 36 channels, so if you pull into a park and you hear somebody else chatting it up, make sure you change the channel and don't eavesdrop. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can eavesdrop for a little bit. It's kind of cool. But <laughs> I can tell you, we don't move the slides or anything on the outside unless Stacy knows on the inside that everything's good to go. Yeah. Perfect for that. And I know you're wondering, cell phones, I'm just going to use my cell phone. Even if you both have Verizon and you don't have Sprint, remember some locations you're at, you won't have self-service at all, like when we were near um, Yellowstone or the Teton. So these are very helpful. Yeah. They go for about $79, and you can find them on Amazon. If you're looking for a lightweight, compact ladder, this right here will do the job. It's a telescopic ladder. It goes up to about 12 and a half feet tall. It's this easy to extend. It reaches all the way to the roof, and it's very helpful when I'm washing Ruby's high spots. And it was very instrumental when we put the solar panels up on the roof. This ladder will go for about $125, and you can find it on Amazon. I just want you guys to know this is our fourth time recording this video for you. <laughs> Let's just say technology sucks. Oh, man, the mics have died. This is going to be the longest blooper reel we've ever had, and I guarantee you, no matter how many bloopers are in this bad boy, Three times as many are going to be on the floor. Yeah, and our first issue, we had camera issues. And Stacy's got a brand new camera sitting in there waiting to be used. She hasn't played with it enough to learn it. So we went with Old Faithful and it let us down the first time. Then we had mic issues. Then we had SD card issues. This life ain't easy, y'all. I know. This is day two, our fourth time filming some of these clips. Tomorrow will be day three because it's getting dark. So we're not finishing today. The only question is, are we going to put on the same clothes and pretend it's the same day? Or are we going to switch it up? Yeah, so Stay, this, keep watching. This is hour number six of doing this. So <laughs> we're just going to get right to it. Dash Cam 46 by Garmin, 135 bucks. Go over to Techno RV. Check it out. Next, <laughs> no, you got to tell them more than that. 
All right, this is one of my favorite gadgets, and I can't believe I waited two years to actually get one. This is the Garmin Dashcam 46. It is a 140 degree field of view. It's a 1080p, uh, it records in 1080p, mm. let's put it that way. It's voice activated. It uh, lets you know when the traffic's moving. It lets you know when you leave your lane. The lane departure warning always goes off. It lets you know if you're a little too close mm -hmm. to the car in front yes, of you. Yes, Bill, it does. Or like mm -hmm. I say, the car in front of me is too close to me. Um, I can just tell it to take a picture as we're going down the road, and it takes a, it takes a pretty good picture. The main reason we got this was for uh, an accident, to have proof that we were not in the wrong, because we won't be in the wrong. Mm -hmm. And as you know, that these big RVs, we always get cut off. People jump in front of us, mm -hmm. and we can't stop on a dime. So this is our protection as we're going down the road. You can get this for about $135. If you jump on over to Techno RV, they may even have it on sale. One of my favorite things, it's not really a, a RV related must have, but is my flagpole. I really love displaying the American flag and the Navy flag. This particular flagpole is 16 feet tall, and I do have an LED solar light on the top because I leave my flags out overnight. And by law, you have to illuminate the U.S. flag, so I'm covered there. Really easy to attach to the ladder. And there's two brackets that are three feet apart. You put the, the flagpole in, easy day. I got this through Flagpole Buddy, and it was about $130. As full-time RVers, we love a good campfire. We just don't like all the smoke that comes with it. No, anytime you sit around a wood fire, your hair is going to smell, your clothes are going to smell, and when you're out on BLM, the last thing you want to do is have to accumulate a ton of laundry, which you can't wash because you don't have access to water. That's right. So this here has been a game changer for us sitting outside, um, enjoying the cooler nights with a cocktail and our propane fire pit. And another bonus to this is if the campground or the areas on fire restrictions um, or should I say a burn ban, normally you can still use your propane. This is an Outland Fireball and it runs for about $190 on Amazon. One of Stacy's favorite gadgets is this little griddle right here. Actually, it's one of Phil's gadgets because you guys know how much he likes to eat. <laughs> that I do. I don't know why it took me so long to pull the trigger on the Blackstone griddle. I do love it. When I cook, especially since we've moved into the RV, I like to cook in one pot. So whether it's the Instant Pot or a pan on the stove, one pot cooking is it. So this allows me to cook a whole meal on one surface. I do meat, veggies, you know, whatever. I can do bacon, eggs, hash browns, sausage, all on one surface. And it cleanup is a cinch. Did she mention bacon? <laughs> Lots of bacon, because you can put a lot of bacon on here. And we have, and it turns out really good. Yeah, so you can throw a stir fry on here, and let me tell you, you can make enough for a crowd. So when we picked this up, we actually picked it up at Walmart, and it came with everything you see here, the stand, the griddle, and the lid. And it was much cheaper than getting it on Amazon. So if you decide to get one, make sure you check your prices. Now, it could be just because it was spring, or they were trying to get rid of them at the end of the season. Um, but you know Black Friday's coming up. So That's right. If you're in the market, make sure you look for Black Friday. But this definitely is worth the storage space it takes up. Yeah, and with this one, it's a 22-inch Blackstone, and it's a dual burner. So the heat is easier to regulate. We read in some of the reviews that the 17-inch single burner had a little harder time regulating the heat in there, so things cooked uneven. So check that out when you're searching for your perfect griddle. Yeah, and we did have the Weber before we got this grill, and this only takes up slightly more space than our Weber did. Yeah, the stand, the legs fold up, and then they fold in. The side table comes off, and everything, I can put the side table and the hose inside, close the lid, and it stores real easy inside the storage bay. Yeah. So we got this whole setup for 200 bucks at Walmart. If you're looking to protect your leveling jacks, RV Snap Pad has you covered. These are real easy. They snap on, just like the name says. They provide extra stability. They also protect your jack feet from marring up the cement or um, tar surface that you may be parked on. And they also help prevent the sinking into soft ground or sand. These go for about $270. And make sure when you're ordering yours, you know the size of your leveling feet. I have two different sizes. I have 8 inch up front and 10 inch on the back jacks. If you're unsure of how to go about measuring or what um, snap pad is right for you, go to the snap pad website and they'll walk you through it. And for the whole RV water system, we have our on-the-go water softener. 
Stacy really likes this because it makes her hair feel nice and soft and shiny. It helps lather the soap a little bit more. And she really likes the fact that you don't need a whole lot of laundry detergent now. The on-the-go water softener will also keep your pipes from having calcium buildup in them. All it takes is two boxes of regular table salt. That'll give you about 1,600 gallons of soft water, uh, good for about 40 days. This runs about $270, and you can find it on Amazon. Next up is our Garmin 770 GPS. Now, the first time we recorded this clip, I actually was able to turn it on for you. But now it's the fourth time, and I didn't plug it in last night, and it's dead. So I'm sorry, I don't have a pretty screen for you, but... But it is a nice big screen when it is lit up. <laughs> yeah. But this is our main GPS. We purchased this right when we got Ruby, and I really love it. I am the navigator between the two of us for anyone who, who doesn't know us yet. I usually warn Phil if there's any changes coming up, if we need to make a turn, if um, he needs to change lanes, anything like that. I give him plenty of warning in case there's traffic so he can maneuver the RV. So because of that, I can't see our in-dash navigator. So I use this one and put it over on the passenger side so I always can keep track of where we're going. Now, if you have a larger RV and you're using Waze or you're just going on and using Google, that can get you into trouble. Yeah. This one will prevent you from having to make sharp turns, U-turns. It will prevent you from going to bridges or tunnels that you're too big to go to. And it, it really is a good navigator. Yeah, you put your specific RV dimensions in there and it does the rest for you. Very nice to have going down the road. Don't don't rely on ways. Yeah, if, it's cool if you're in a car, but... Or if you're in a small class C or something like that. Yeah, if, this this is the way to go. Now, this is a 770. They no longer have this model, mm -hmm. but they do have the 780. Yep, which has a couple more features, but basically they are very similar. So I recommend this. We use this 95% of the time. Um, I have used other things like Copilot, and I use um, the RV Life Safe. Um, RV Safe GPS as well, but this is our main go-to. And the price of this is, hold please. The price of this right now is about $3.59 on Amazon, and you can update it so you keep your maps up to date. And it's much easier to update this than our in-dash GPS, that is for sure. For our whole house electrical, we have the EMS surge protector. We bought this prior to even having our rig in possession. That's how important it was to have this. We use this every time we pull into a campground before we plug into a pedestal. I'll take just my surge protector, plug it in, let it run its checks, and I'm looking for an E0. Once I get an E0, I know the uh, pedestal is good. I'll turn the breaker back off. Then I'll run our power cord to it, plug it in, and then we complete our setup. This is a phenomenal piece of gear that will save your RV's electrical in the event of some kind of power surge. Progressive Industries makes a 50 amp and a 30 amp variety, so know which one you need for your rig. It goes for about $420 and you can get this on Amazon. Anyone driving an RV on any of the roads should have a TPMS system, a tire pressure monitoring system. We have the Easy Tire TPMS and this thing is, is really helpful with keeping our tires at the correct pressure and monitoring the temperature as we're going down the road. It allows us to put our proper tire pressure inside based on our RV weights. If you haven't weighed your RV, you should do that prior to putting in your parameters just so you're at a safe tire pressure going down the road. I really love this. It gives me peace of mind. Now we have some friends. I'll not mention any names, of course. But it rhymes with Al. And Angie. So they recently lost a tire on their Jeep. So they're towing down the road. They have a rear view camera and everything. And they couldn't tell that the back tire of the Jeep blew. So as they're going down the road, they completely shredded the tire and started to damage the rim. Luckily, somebody came up alongside of them to let them know what happened. And they were able to pull over and put their spare on. And nobody got hurt and the Jeep is okay. Now, if it, they'd had a TPMS, when that pressure went down to zero, he would have got a notification right away. Yeah, this particular model goes for about $460, and it can take up to, I believe, 12 sensors. We have 10 on ours, six on the RV and four on the Jeep. For more information on any of these products, I will put a link down below. You can pop over to our blog where we talk about them a little bit and link you to where you can buy them. That's right. It's todayissomeday.net. That's right. And, of course, if you want any of the items that we didn't talk about or you want to look at all of our gear, I will put a link down below for that as well. Yeah, we have a ton of gear. We just couldn't fit it all into this video. Nor would you want to sit for the whole video <laughs> no, if we did. It, it, it's not all sexy, so... 
go to the blog if you want to check it out for sure. Yeah. And now let's talk giveaway. Free stuff. That's right. Our friends Eric and Tammy over at Techno RV have generously donated a guest up for us. Yeah. And I tell you, Techno RV, they are top notch. They're RVers just like us, yep. just like you. So they know what it's like to have a product and maybe need some support. You pick up the phone, you call, you're going to talk to somebody there. So they have great customer support or great customer service. Yep. Give them a check. Yeah, and we are affiliates with Techno RV. Yep. But even if we weren't, we would still be seeing their song because they are the coolest. They, they are. Pretty and they're cool. full-time RVers too. Did you say that? I said that. Okay, yeah. okay. The then you shaking, already know that. They're shaking their head yes. You said, All right. I said that. So from the gas stop, let's move on to one more thing we're going to be giving away today, and that is a pair of binos. You want to tell yeah. them our bino story? Yeah, so these right here traveled with us all through Custer, Yellowstone, and the Grand Tetons. This is where we spotted the elusive bear. That's okay, right. So with these, Now, these are about a whole four months old now. <laughs> yeah, but we got back to an RV park where we could receive mail, and we started receiving our packages, and we received a pair of very expensive binos that we did not order. So we reached out to Amazon and the company and said, hey, these were sent to us. They're not ours. How do we get them back to you? They essentially came back to us and said, keep them, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Just keep them. We don't yeah. want to deal with them, they didn't. Basically. They didn't want to deal with having to send them back, find out. I, I don't know. But we inherited a brand new pair of binos. So these were going to gift to you. That's right. So if you would like to enter the giveaway for either the binos or for the gas stop, all you have to do is head over to our blog that talks about all of these items and hit the enter me please button. So that's the giveaway. If you know anybody that needs a gas stop, uh, make sure you send them a link to this video or to the blog so they can sign up too. Thanks so much for watching our video. I hope you got something out of all these gadgets and gizmos that we use. I do need to tell you we are affiliates with Amazon um, along with you know, I already told you Techno RV, but we're not affiliates with anybody else. We just wanted to share those items with you. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up and in between cleaning your house, hit the notification bell as well. <laughs> and we will see you on, on the, the road. road. Inside. Inside, obviously. <laughs> here, right here. <laughs> your little button. So here we have Stacy's clear bin. As you can see, nothing's in it. She never plays along with me. <laughs> you may need for the no, I said that wrong. See, now you got me all jacked up. I feel like ow, tool time. <laughs> you know when they runched? And we're back. The gas alarm. Little bit. Can you say reality? Reality. Well today we're gonna show you our top top our top tie. Our top tie. Pro We get asked all the time. <laughs> Just wait. You get a guest stop and you get a guest stop. <laughs> and get some blades for everyone. You can cut that out. <laughs> and things that, well, we may have. <laughs> um, Safety valve. <laughs> I could not say that. Oh, I messed that up. These things snap on, just as their name indicates.